My name is Dr. Sonia Cooks. The pandemic. What has happened to me throughout the COVID pandemic? Well, we are in my backyard and I would be remiss if I did not start with my personal sanctuary because for us, this was our safe haven. After 25 years, we decided to move a few months before the pandemic. We loved the house, but the one thing we didn't like about the house was the pool. <laughs> we have a rather large pool, and my husband and I, we have adult children, and we were like, what are we gonna do with the pool? Well, lo and behold, we got a pandemic, right, COVID? So our pool actually became our safe haven, our sanctuary. So the one thing that we didn't want was the one thing that actually kept us grounded. We didn't know a lot about the pandemic. We didn't know a lot about the virus, how it was transmitted, things of that nature. And all we knew was that we needed to stay home. We needed to just stay in our living environment, not explore out. So it gave us a lot of opportunity to really embrace our family, appreciate the time that we have together, get to learn and love on each other a little bit more than we probably have done in the past because different work schedules, life schedules. Professionally, I am a nurse educator. So like many individuals in academia, we had to transform the way that we teach students. We went from direct face-to-face -to, -face to everything becoming remote learning. Our nursing students weren't able to get that direct patient care. Some of them still suffer from that because although we had simulation, which is very popular in healthcare now, where you can simulate patient care experiences through the use of high fidelity mannequins, which are basically mannequins that simulate the human body. We were able to use those resources and help get our students up and trained, but it does not replace the human connection. The one thing that COVID exposed was the health disparities, disparities in general. Those from vulnerable populations, those that have come from uh, different social economic backgrounds, we saw the gaps between those type of things. Again, going back to my sanctuary, my husband and I contracted COVID. We do have more than one restroom. We can separate. We do have different rooms in our home. But I begin to think about others that were less fortunate. And I'm like, how is that possible? And just from those those personal experiences, I actually became a contact tracer for COVID and I learned through conversations with individuals who were who had tested positive in their life environments and their home environments, the things that they were able to do and things that they weren't able to do because maybe they were essential workers and they had to go out and support their families. Unlike myself, I had a teaching position, as I indicated, was remote and I could just go upstairs in my office and continue to work that way. So it really opened my eyes to wow people do live different lives and have different experiences I need to make sure that the students that are come in contact with me understand the differences and how nurses collectively can really really impact change and first you have to understand that there are differences sometimes you get in your own little shelter your own little bubble and you don't realize that there are people around you who do not have those same experiences. So I think COVID really helped me from an education standpoint to broaden some of the things that I exposed my students to. They appreciated the differences and knowing the whys behind some of the disparities that we see in healthcare and again, the social economic gap. I continue to be very active in a lot of the nursing organizations that I'm a part of. I am a part of the Kaeda Phi, which is a professional nursing organization, Racing Kenosha Black Nurses Association. And our main goals are to give back to our community, to educate our community. COVID again, expose the lack of education around healthcare. We have resources, but people just don't know about them. Through my active participation and being in the classroom and letting the future nurses know, hey, point these individuals in this direction. You need to know so that you can tell other people how they can make changes in their life is something that I'm very passionate about.